If you have a Sony FX3 or a Sony FX30 and you want to figure out how the Cine EI and the camera works, this video is for you. I see a lot of people talking and they say, well, I have the ZV-E1, I can just increase the base ISO to 12,800 and it's essentially the exact same. But Cine EI is a lot more than just being able to have a button on your camera that switches between the two base ISOs on the camera. It allows you to actually monitor at an overexposed or underexposed amount without needing to put any custom LUTs on your device that allow you to do that. With Cine EI, regardless of what you set the ISO number to, you're either always recording recording at the lower base ISO of 800 or the higher base ISO of 12,800. So to make this make sense, I filmed this dynamic scene right here. One I exposed at zero stops, just right in the middle. One I exposed at two stops overexposed and one I exposed at two stops underexposed. Now I also want to point out here that this only works if you're actually getting more light onto your sensor. If you're just increasing the gain after the fact in post, you're not actually making your shadows cleaner. The amount of noise is baked into the image at that level because we aren't increasing the signal to noise ratio. We have to do it with some sort of actual physical more light into the camera. If I show you this shot that was two stops overexposed right here, it actually is going to look very bright in post when you're actually in your editing software. But on the camera, because we did it in Cine EI, we went from 800 ISO down to 200 ISO, so two stops less on the screen. So we're monitoring two stops darker. Meaning once we want to set the exposure so that it looks correct on the actual screen, we're going to be two stops overexposed. So we made the screen darker so that when we add more light in, the screen then looks properly exposed, but the final file is two stops overexposed. And when we check the shadows on that, the shadows are much cleaner than if we look at the one that we did two stops underexposed. And we did that by going to ISO 3200, which is two stops overexposed on the monitor of the camera using Cine EI. So then we would lower the light in the scene, whether through aperture, the actual lighting or shutter speed to get an actual underexposed image. And then if we bring that back up, you'll see that the shadows are much, much dirtier, but we have much more reach into the brightest areas of the image. Essentially, we protected our highlights more because we were underexposing the image. So if we want to bring the shadows up, we're getting more noise, but we have more information in the highlights. So this allows you to choose which one do you want to focus on? Do you want to try to focus on getting the cleanest shadows possible? Or do you want to focus on getting the most information in the highlights as possible? Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy.